last five games averaging better than 20 points per game. It's the Blue Hens in their royal blue uniforms with a basketball first. Ryan Allen, Nate Darling, Kevin Anderson, Justin Mutz, Colin Goss. The starting five for Delaware. And again, this a dangerous team with a 9-1 record. First possession, put three on the board. that matchup again. And the ball though moving quickly from side to side. Trying to look for that one-on-one -on -one advantage. Here's Darling, the former UAB Blazer. Bay is all over him. Puts up the three and hits. Closing out on the shooters, not allowing penetration, giving them a little bit of help and then recovering. There goes Darling, the young man from Nova Scotia with Final exams began for Villanova today back on campus and will run throughout the week. Darling hits for three. Darling from between the circles. Well, Jay Wright's old school. They do a lot of fundamental basketball, but they do not do that. But they do what they do is they do work on pivoting and playing off two feet. And that's why they rarely turn it over. They're always balanced with their pass, passes. Yes, we got a chance to see yesterday. We've seen uh, lots of Jay Wright practices over the years. I enjoyed their practices as much as anybody's working on those fundamentals. Beaten on the back door, beside the long apprenticeship under Mike Bray of Notre Dame, a, a one-year stop here in the metropolitan area on Staten Island at Wagner College. Back in 02-03, Seahawks went to the NCAA tournament that year. Darling draws the foul. On the floor, Nate Darling, and you know, on occasion today, Ryan Allen and Kevin Ames, who left for Pittsburgh in June. He was an all-rookie, all-conference player. And in spite of that, Delaware has figured it out. Darling. It's a run. That's what Delaware got in trouble. They went and doubled down on the box. They don't need to double down on the box because if you double on the box, Villanova has their head up and they're going to reverse it and then back reverse it again to find the open man. Tell you what, not only was right there, but Samuels just shoved him right through the door. Jay Wright says Samuel's the best thing about him. He's playing like a Villanova junior. Their contact with Tom's widow, Joanne, and their two daughters. They're here today in droves, and uh, Delaware brought a nice group as well. And Delaware gets former Villanova Wildcat Dylan Painter eligible after his transfer. Blue Hens with it. Darling, give him two more. He dropped 26 on the Blue Raiders earlier this year. Having himself a good afternoon here in Newark. Darling with the layup. Top. In the bottom of the league, prediction-wise, Butler, St. John's, they've had a good win already against West Virginia. So the Big East is obviously, again, going to be one of the highest, highest level team conferences. Up again. And the ball though moving quickly from side to side, trying to look for that one-on-one -on -one advantage. Here's Darling, the former UAV Blazer. Bay is all over him. Puts up the three and hits. 